Hey, are you frustrated with pruning? Do you say, huh, I don't know where to start. I don't know what I'm doing. And maybe you're caught by a huge number of suckers on your apple tree or your other fruit trees. And you say, oh, there's got to be a better way. Well, there is if you focus on this one thing that I'll show you. Stay tuned. You say, one thing, is it that easy? If you just focus on this this year, I guarantee your pruning will change from frustration, not understanding, it's not working, to, wow, I think maybe I won't even have to prune next year. I tell you, this changed my pruning completely. And it's something as simple as branch angle to the trunk. So you see the trunk and you see a branch. For apple trees, the most important thing to know, and listen, you may have watched a lot of videos about it. You may have read books about it. I'm sorry to tell you, but a lot of that information, well, a good part of it anyway, is really passe. It's from a different era. Pruning has evolved. What we know about trees and how to prune has changed. And it's time for you to change your approach. Let me say, focus on this, focus on this, focus on this, focus on having trees with branch angles that go from ah, a bunch of branches that are up in the air. You see that way up in the air to your branch angles being down, not at horizontal even, but below horizontal. That will absolutely transform your pruning. It will save you from the craziness of suckers. I say, don't get suckered in. Suckers is there to sucker you in, but it's also there to show you that it's just the wrong branch angle. I told you, don't get suckered in to suckers. Suckers are not the problem. They are a symptom of what? Of branch angle. Here's a very big sucker that I left to go. This is my example tree. It's my one tree that's got suckers. Just to show you the difference. Here's a sucker behind there. Here's one, here's one, and there's a couple more. Why is there suckers? You have to go back to here. You see, right back here. Look at that branch angle. The angle at which this branch joins the trunk. What is it? It's 45 degrees. This branch should have bent when it was younger, but it probably was very vigorous, didn't have enough fruit early, and by the time it produced fruit, it had set in its ways. And now, you really can't do anything with it. And to start cutting the suckers, you become the sucker and get suckered into suckering and cutting suckers and cutting suckers. Don't do that. Focus on the branch angle. Make one cut. Cut this branch. You say it's a big branch. Trust me, cut it, you'll have a new branch. You can train it. And you may not even want a branch that low, but you can train it and now have something that's really useful, manageable. Focus on the branch angle and don't get suckered into suckers. Even if you look at that branch and you look at the end of it, where it becomes just about horizontal or below horizontal, now, this tree is complete, this part of the branch is completely tamed. There's no more suckering. Why? What branches do produce, here's a few. There's a little bit of a sucker. Uh, here's one that started. They all become fruitful and then they just bend down on their own. See, this is no longer really a problem here. The problem is all of this. Why? Because of the branch angle. Just focus on branch angle. Look at every br major branch you have. Look at every branch that comes off the main trunk and focus on taking away the ones that have the strongest branch angle or training them. And you can see a lot more of that than other techniques and tricks in pruning course. Go see it. You won't regret it. Look at this branch. There's no suckers on it. Why? 
It's a big branch. You say it should be suckers. No, it shouldn't be suckers when that branch is below, below, below horizontal. You say, can it be that simple? Yes, it can be that simple. I'll show you a three-step process. Clear a chimney, select 12 to 15 branches, and then do a final polish. And if that doesn't change pruning for you, well, there's really nothing more I can help you with. But that will absolutely transform your pruning. Understanding this, importance of this, this is the source mostly of all your problems, all your suckers is this simple, simple thing. You got to understand that when a branch starts, it's often above horizontal. It does that naturally. And when it gets one load, one crop of fruit, that branch will go down by the fall. And when the fruit come off, it may go up a bit, but it's already gone down from its original spring position. A second year, that branch might be horizontal. And a third year, that branch will have gone below horizontal. And for the life of that branch, like the life of this branch, you got a branch that's just, it's so easy to manage. There's very little to do. And most of the time, you don't have to do anything with it. You say, was that helpful? Listen, focus this year on branch angle and get rid of the ones that have the highest branch angle. Cut them right there. Don't mess with out on the branch. Focus right at the trunk and select away from those that are really the problem ones, the branches that are trying to be a second, third, or fourth top. You know, the top, the leader. Take those off and start with the most angled and in three years, you'll have a tree that's transformed to below horizontal. Listen, you want to find out more tricks about it. You want to get really the updated information, stuff that now is understood so that you can go from frustrated to being, finding that it's a pleasant activity, understanding what's going on in the future, understanding how your branches will change with time. I put together a course, pruningcourse.com. Start with the first video. It shows you those three steps. It's the simplest three-step approach I've ever seen. And I've pruned for 30 years. And for about 15 years of that, I really didn't understand what I was doing. Take a look. Go, go to pruningcourse.com, take a look. The first video, the three steps is right in there. It's free, go watch it. And if you want more in depth, if you want to understand pruning to really go to the next level, just get the course. I mean, this is modern information about pruning. Enough of this uh, misinformation about pruning. It's time to advance with the times so that you can prune whether it's one tree in your yard or hundreds or thousands of trees in a way that's completely revolutionary. Focus on branch angle this year. Check it out, pruningcourse.com. You won't regret it.